This clip will present a new feature that enables enhanced IFC property updates in ARCHICAD 19. The update with IFC model dialog has been enhanced in ARCHICAD 19 with multiple options. In previous versions, this command worked by overriding all property data of elements in the project file with property data of elements in the IFC file. This method was inflexible and could potentially overwrite or delete needed property data. ARCHICAD 19 introduces multiple new options. Activate the file, File Special, IFC 2x3, Update with IFC Model menu command to bring up this dialog. In the lower part of the dialog, you'll find multiple checkboxes that enable the flexible update of IFC properties. The Merge New Properties from IFC checkbox, when checked, merges into your project file every IFC property that exists in the IFC file, but does not exist in your project file. In our example, a wall element has the is composite structure IFC property in ARCHICAD. The same wall element in the IFC file has the is composite structure and development phase IFC properties. We use the update with IFC model command and select the IFC file plus the IFC translator we wish to use. The show model filter on import checkbox is checked in the import options panel of the IFC translation setup dialog. So, as the last step of the import process, we can select which IFC elements or element groups the settings of the Update with IFC Model dialog will be applied to, since the model filter works in conjunction with IFC Property Update as well. We could group elements by IFC element type, by story, by layer, or by owner. If, for example, we want to update only certain elements on certain stories or layers. In this example, we select only IFC walls, so only new wall IFC properties will be imported into our project file from the IFC file. This will bring the walls development phase IFC property and its value into our ARCHICAD project file. The Override Existing Project Properties checkbox, when checked, overrides in your project file every IFC property that exists both in your project file and in the IFC file, but has different values. In our example, the width threshold IFC property of the left door has the value of false in ARCHICAD. The width threshold IFC property of the same door in the IFC file has the value of true. Checking this checkbox will modify the value of the IFC property in your ARCHICAD project file to the value of true. Please note that if a mapping rule is defined in the IFC Scheme Setup dialog for an IFC property, this option will overwrite the value automatically assigned by the mapping rule. The Glazing Area Fraction IFC property has a mapping rule assigned to it. And based on that, its current value is around 
When we overwrite this IFC property with the value of 1.6 present in the IFC file, it takes precedence over the value assigned by the mapping rule. This is indicated by a red reset icon next to the value of the IFC property in the Manage IFC Properties dialog. Clicking this icon removes the override and re-establishes the mapping rule. The Remove Project Properties that do not exist in IFC checkbox, when checked, removes every IFC property that exists in your project file but does not exist in the IFC file. Use this option carefully and only in cases where you are fully aware of which IFC properties it removes. In our example, the right door in ARCHICAD has the item cost IFC property with the value of 250. The same element in the IFC file does not have this custom IFC property. Checking this checkbox will remove from your ARCHICAD project file the item cost IFC property because it's not present in the IFC file. Please note that this option removes only IFC properties defined for individual elements. It does not remove IFC properties defined in the IFC Scheme Setup dialog, since those may be used by many other elements as well. Another important thing to note is that the Update with IFC Model command can be undone. If you don't like a result you get after a property override or removal step, simply click the Undo button to undo the action. In our example above, when we click the Undo button in the toolbar, then check the right door's IFC properties. We can see that the door again has the item cost IFC property. The last option is the Merge New IFC Model Elements checkbox in the upper portion of the dialog. This checkbox, when checked, will bring in all elements along with all their IFC properties that do not exist in your project file, but exist in the IFC file. This can happen, for example, when the IFC file is opened in another application, new elements are created, then the result is saved back into an IFC file. We again use the model filter as part of the import process, and in this example, we select only IFC spaces, so only new IFC space elements in the IFC file will be imported into our project file and converted into ARCHICAD zone elements. This way, we've incorporated the zone elements created by our consultant into our project file.